Hi everyone, I'm your average human and today we're gonna watch a video by one of my favorite artists like I'm obsessed with this guy and I swear he deserves more recognition whenever I find someone else who knows about him I get super excited so today's video is kind of special in that way uh, the video is gonna be Pretty Bug by Alan Raymond and it's a live version of it so yeah that's what we're gonna do I hope you enjoy it and please if you like the song I beg you go check out all his EPs his albums like they're incredible please go check it out so yeah now we're gonna watch the video Done. Well, it does seem got, like a cold place. Uh, uh, it's not on Verona's mixtape. I just put this song out, and it's with a dear friend of mine, James Fitz and McMorris. God, he looks um, cold. He's, he's like literally and, uh, holding himself down. And, uh, like, oh my God! In conspiracy theory, look at the the Alan Alan Raymond uh, sort of cancelled symbol the on the drum set. I'm going to talk about that when this is done because someone, some lady, I don't know if it's marketing, I think it's marketing, but yeah, a lady was trying to cancel him. We'll talk about it later. Oh God, he was, <laughs> he was cold that day. Come on, do your magic. What I love about him is that with each project he really changes, like he creates a persona to go with it. I think that's really cool and interesting. So it's like each time you found something new. He has one of those voices, those voices that is so interesting and so unique that you're like, oh my god. Like, he's one of those artists that each time I listen to him, I'm like, I cannot wait for him to blow up because he deserves it. I think he's in for the right reason. I don't know, whatever, yeah, like, as if they, there are good reasons, but I don't know. Each interview I've seen of him, he's like so, the way he talks about the music, he's so into it, so... Yeah, that's kind of what makes me, you know, want to support him and that he does well in the future. I also kind of love how this video is shot. I mean, of course it's like a performance that was probably done during the whole quarantine and shit, but... God, what I love about him is exactly this. Like, he can... his voice can get so raspy and sort of layered and interesting, but at the same time he can go so... like, sweetly. I don't know if... That's like a proper way to describe it, but he can go so like high, but at the same time, like peacefully. I don't know, like it's the complete opposite to his raspiness. It's such a nice contrast to have. Oh my god, and if you don't know where to start with this whole catalog, I would highly suggest just going to his latest album, which is called Christian, and yeah, that's a great record. I feel like that would be a nice jumping point, 
and then maybe going backwards to like his earlier stuff that would be really cool thank you very much great work guys he seems like a chill dude I don't know like yeah like a, a dude you would just hang out with if that makes any sense but yeah I don't know actually how I discovered him was like a I don't know how long ago but yeah I just found one of his songs and oh my god if you've never heard a song of him besides the one I just showed you go look for his colors performance uh, I believe the song was gun yeah I think that was the song but just type in on YouTube you know colors Alan Raymond you will not be disappointed trust me there is no way in hell that song and that performance in particular don't I don't know don't struck a chord or, or don't make you feel something I'm sure you're gonna love it so you know go check it out and I don't know maybe probably like I could do a video on it since it was you know such an iconic video I feel and it kind of blew up at that time so it would be nice you know to just see it again I guess if you want to see that maybe comment below or let me know if you would be interested interested on that but yeah what I find so special about Alan is that he reminds me of aspects of different bands maybe from the past or I don't know like it, it you know it brings different flavors into the mix that remind me like I don't know like a Kurt Cobain there are some moments especially you know in some parts of his discography where it's just like wow this reminds me of Kurt so much but not like a copycat you know because no one enjoys someone trying to steal or you know copy something that's already been done but like his own spin on it and yeah I I am a hundred percent obsessed with the guy like all his music I've listened to you know a bunch really too much probably <laughs> but yeah and the last thing I wanted to sort of touch on before this if you're a uh, you know a big Alan fan you probably kind of know what I'm gonna talk about but a couple of days ago, I mean, I already had lined up this video, you know, I have like a list of videos that I want to do and I wanted to do it and then I saw like an Instagram story of him saying that some of his videos were taken down by someone and then he shared like a post of an Instagram that was like saying that he should be stopped and he should be cancelled or whatever and I remember thinking wow that's that's very weird like why would but you know you never know like he could be an asshole for all we know I don't I don't know so I started digging you know I went in and at first I didn't realize but there was something in that profile that it was like I've seen it before but I couldn't exactly like figure out what it was but I kept on digging and digging and it was supposedly it was like a lady who had a daughter and her daughter went following Alan and on tour or something like that so she was pissed and she was like protect the children which kind of reminded me you know of the of the scene from the Simpsons and yeah but then it hit me like a brick wall it was the same logo as this video we just saw i mean the whole sort of live performance he did there is the the drum set logo is the same one just in a different color so i was like mm, is that some marketing strategy ellen are you dropping something new what's happening i don't know 
My theory would be, yes, is something made by him or his team, whatever that might be. But yeah, for a second there I was like, is there a crazy white lady trying to ruin this guy? Because I don't know, like 2020 has showed us that older people of the white descent can be kind of weird when it comes to social media and stuff. So at first I was like, mm, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if a lady was trying to cancel someone because her daughter just decided to do something. But yeah, then when I realized that thing about the logo, I was like, mm, no, yeah, this is probably staged. Yeah, okay. Well played, Alan. Nicely done. Okay, you did that. But yeah, I, I don't know. I guess we'll find out in the end. Or not. Maybe, I don't know, he tried to do something and then it didn't pull through, so he just canceled it. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, that's it. Have a great day. Bye.